Hello, and welcome to my quick tutorial on how to obtain the UART serial dump off of the Jetson Xavier NX using an Arduino Uno. If your board ever enters recovery mode, the first thing you'll need to do is obtain the UART serial dump in order to get information off of the board. When this board is in recovery mode, you're not able to interface with any of the output devices over here, output or input devices, all IO is not working. The only way to get information off the board is by connecting to the RX and TX pins on, uh, on the reverse side over here. I have temporarily removed my connections so that you can see the labels on here. We're going to be connecting to that uh, TXD and RXD pins, RT, UART. Let's see. Yes, that says UART. You can see that on the camera. Now, um, this these pens are uh, labeled incorrectly. I guess whoever designed this board thought that uh, thought that this was more correct, but this is actually incorrect, and I'll show you why. Um, lastly, this black pin is going to be connected to one of the grounds on the board. Now, uh, these pins are mislabeled because um, it turns out that you actually need to connect the RX of the Jetson NX, Xavier NX, the RX pin to the RX pin of the Arduino. And this is backwards. Um, normally, the RX pin means that that is the receiving pin for communication. Uh, in this case, however, it appears as though they are putting RX on here because they want you to plug it into your RX. I don't really understand this. It's very confusing, but um, yeah, we're not using that crossover connection where RX goes to TX in this case. We're doing RX to RX in this case. Um, I also have never seen RXD before, so um, perhaps this is why it's configured this way. But um, yeah, just keep in mind, you're gonna be connecting that RX pin to the RX pin of the Arduino. Get that in focus and connect the TX pin to the TX pin of the Arduino. So let me pause the video. Oh, before I do, lastly, connect the ground of the Arduino, either one works, to the ground of the Xavier. Okay, let me pause the video and plug these wires back in. I am also going to unplug the power from the board. Okay, the connections have been made again. I have the RX pin on that red wire connected to the RX pin of the Arduino on that red wire, and the TX pin on the brown wire to the TX pin on the Arduino, um, and then lastly, that ground wire. Um, just a quick note before I continue. Uh, should you be using a different board, or should you be doing anything else uh, using the Arduino for UART, um, this will still work, um, but if it doesn't work, just switch around the, switch around the RX and TX pins, so, you know, uh, swap them, and then try again, and uh, yeah, just doing that switch around and seeing if it works that way um, will be a, a quick way to do this. This is why I think that you should uh, stay consistent on uh, using the RX and TX because it's like, well, there's only two ways it can be configured, and you're gonna have to check them both now that the labels are not correct. But anyways, nonetheless, um, once you have done this, plug in your Arduino using the provided USB cable to your computer, open the Arduino program. Um, I have here just a blank program. I put this dummy variable in. I don't think it's necessary. Um, upload this to the board. And then now that it's uploaded, the program is now running. It's a blank program though, so it's just doing no operation. Here's the serial monitor. Now by default, it's gonna open up using 9600 baud rate. What you need to do is change that to 115 200 baud rate. That is the baud rate of the Xavier NX specifically. Now that everything is configured, go ahead and plug in the power. And I will do so now. And you can see we are getting the UART serial dump as the board is booting into Ubuntu. Sorry, Jetpack. This is booting in a Jetpack. Thank you for watching.